J.D. Vance shifts the focus beyond rehashing the 2020 election, aiming instead at a results-driven, future-centric agenda. His call to throw Kamala Harris out of office is a reflection of his belief in the conservative values of accountability and good governance. For Vance, a properly functioning democracy is judged by its capacity to implement effective policies, particularly those favoring free markets, minimal government interference, and individual responsibility in economic matters. Observation, then we'll hit the road. Hi, Senator, Hi, Senator Will Jones from Local 4. They will. I spoke with some elected officials or election officials last week about their concern about people who are trying to undermine our elections. Why didn't you answer the question last night during the debate about who won the 2020 presidential election? Well, look, here, here's, here, here's the simple reason. The media is obsessed with talking about the election of four years ago. I'm focused on the election of 33 days from now because I want to throw Kamala Harris out of office and get back to common sense economic policy. But I also think you can believe that America needs to have secure and free elections, but also talk about the fact that just a couple of weeks ago, Democrats in the U.S. Congress blocked a piece of legislation that would have ensured illegal aliens don't vote in our elections. If you believe in American democracy, if you believe in our constitutional republic, you should be trying to strengthen American election integrity and not weaken it. So we're going to talk about election integrity because I believe that every vote ought to count but only the legally cast votes. And that's why we fight for election integrity. And that's why we care so much. His remarks highlight empathy toward those who feel fixated on past elections, pulling attention away from pressing current concerns. Vance insists that ensuring the fairness of elections, especially by preventing illegal voting, aligns with conservative ideals of upholding the rule of law, securing borders, and protecting citizenship sanctity. He emphasizes the need for strict voter ID laws and other measures to safeguard electoral legitimacy, positioning them as key to a robust democracy. His critique of the Democratic Party's obstruction of election reforms taps into public fears that progressive agendas may threaten the integrity of the election process. When calling for common sense economic policies, Vance reiterates his preference for market driven solutions reduce government interference, and a focus on policies that prioritize the needs of American citizens. His frustration and distrust of both the media and political systems resonate with many Americans. By framing the media's obsession with the 2020 election as misguided, he taps into a growing sentiment that urgent issues, like the economy, are being sidelined in favor of irrelevant debates.